I'm your host, Dave Warren. We are continuing to track Helene, now a hurricane. That came in, coming in with the 11 o'clock advisory here. The satellite picture and the investigation by the planes here showing that the winds have increased to 80 miles an hour. It continues to make that turn to the north northwest, so still shifting to the west. The latest track showing a rapid intensification about to get underway here. By when, this evening, 100 mile an hour wind just to our west here, about 250 miles to the west is where we'll see a major hurricane here overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. It's turning to the northeast here slowly, uh, but it's after it passes uh, directly west of South Florida. Impacts along the Big Bend there. Uh, this will be Thursday evening, so just over 24 hours from now making landfall as a major hurricane and then it will continue to weaken here across the southeast. Uh, the close up view shows that this storm making landfall right uh, just east of Panama City likely near Tallahassee. This will be Thursday evening with wind 125 miles an hour. Here are the impacts that we're seeing. Tropical storm warnings all uh, across the entire state. Of course, where you get closer to where the storm will make uh, impacts there. Landfall, uh, we have a hurricane warning in effect. The winds will be increasing the strongest part of the storm overnight tonight and tomorrow. Make sure everything's secure outside. It'll be pretty gusty, especially as these squalls work their way through the area. 50 50 mile an hour gust, 30 to 40, uh, maybe even as high as 50 overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. That is the storm is uh, passing just to our west and then the winds will gradually start to diminish there a uh, Thursday evening. Uh, we are seeing peak storm surge heights there close to about one to three feet along the keys, maybe even up in parts of Biscayne Bay. Some of that wind will push the waves and the water into the bay here. So about one to three feet of surge 10 to 15 closer to where the storm will make impacts here. Here are the concerns uh, with the severe weather. Uh, we'll get these squalls coming in damaging winds and there is the possibility that a few of these storms uh, could try to spin out a brief tour. Tornado. So we're continuing to monitor that heavy rain threat flood watch through Friday morning with two to four inches of rain.